guys, I'm Salma, and today I'm back with Annalise, and we're gonna talk about her six month update. We went to Dr. Joe Dispenza's week-long advanced retreat in Cancun this last June together, and we had made a video about what happened to Annalise while she was there, and this is just a six-month update about what Annalise has been up to and what has changed in her life. What's been happening? Well, I think the last video I was in the state of shock. I went on a spiritual journey during a uh, Joe. You know, realized a lot of things about myself that I didn't realize before or didn't actually pay attention to. In the last six months, I would say on top of, you know, meditation as often as possible. So how often have you been meditating? I do my best to do at least Monday through Friday. If I can do the weekends, and get through that I feel uh, accomplished but some days you know you have that small thought and you're like oh my god it's gonna be an hour like I have to sit for an hour you know but I try my best to do at least Monday through Friday so that way it's like you know this is a task add it to your day like you can do this put it in there and if it's not in the morning make sure that it's at night because Joe says like that's the best time when your waves are more susceptible usually I would try my best to do it right before I woke up or right as I'm headed to bed so one or the other I feel like I had really good results when I was like just today this is what I'm gonna do today if I can't do it in the morning I'm gonna do it at night so I made sure to do my best to do that there were like maybe one or two weeks in there where I couldn't get to it and I was just <laughs> like uh. but you feel it you definitely feel a difference in your state of mind in your approach to things in your everything when you don't take that time to give yourself an hour of the day and just you know focus on you so what meditation have you been doing the last six months or has it been different ones that you've been doing my main one is blessing of the energy centers that's the main primary one that I would do if I don't do that one I would definitely do turning new potentials that one I really like and also generous present moment there was a moment in in my six months or in time where I just got really irritated with Joe's voice and I was just like I just needed to be quiet in here. I just need to meditate and, and take a moment. Generous present moment has less talking and kind of more of just the background and you drifting into the dark. So I needed those some days, but mainly the blessing of the energy centers. It's so funny you say that because I don't mind Joe, Joe's voice at all, but yeah. I have a lot of friends that are like, why is he yelling? Like, why? This is <laughs> yeah. not relaxing. Yeah. But I mean, I love his meditations. She needed a break, but exactly. she, she was still consistent and has pretty much been meditating for the last six months, about five days a week. And I think you do blessing of the energy center is eight right yeah eight so that mm -hmm. one's an hour and 34 minutes long yeah. okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's a little bit longer so what has happened have you had any updates in your life anything new any revelations any manifestations yes I think in general things start to I think you just start to like unfold like an onion like you start to just like open up and blossom more and like you start to look and investigate things differently so I feel like like one of the main things that I've learned or that I've realized is that as driven as I was I wasn't allowing God presence universe to do what they needed to do it was like I treated them as a background it was like I'm gonna do this and then you sprinkle your blessings on top of me okay <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do and then you do that but I've learned a lot to understand what the word trust means like trusting and realizing that as many people are like oh well you know it's not just gonna come to you it actually can like it actually will and you have to actually align yourself vibrationally mentally all of those things to allow it to even be entered into your space so I think I, I've learned to like be on the vibration of trust relationship wise I learn to be more I guess vulnerable in relationships <laughs> you know and communicate more and not like chokehold something like if it's not like this I don't want it and I it doesn't need to be like that but you don't know like you she have no was idea a sassy one <laughs> <laughs> she, she was sassy and she was bossy. Yeah, I, I'm gonna admit, I'm gonna admit. And there was no like, ha ha ha, I'm joking. You know how you'll 
add an emoji like after you say something crazy I just be like nope that's just what it is <laughs> like if they trickled off I'm like hey they trickled off but no I realized that it's like you know you have to put in the same work that you want to that you want to receive if it doesn't work it's because that it just wasn't meant to be and you're not gonna be forced or put into anything that you don't want but you don't know as well like you have to give it that opportunity so I, I feel like that's opened me a lot more opened me up a lot more my mindset as far as day to day is very much more just very much this is just a great day this is wonderful you know I'm alive I have all of these opportunities in front of me and it's not like a fake saying it's more just like a feeling like it's gonna be okay Annalise Annalise is gonna be fine or we were talking about this before about um, working out before it'd be like oh I don't have time in my day I can't do that but now it's just like okay well I'll make an hour here if I can't do it here I'll do it there it's just organizing it in there and finding the time for it or whatever it may be making it something that you want prioritizing but not forcing just prioritizing mindset wise I'm still uh, borderline with the healing things <laughs> um so if you didn't watch her last <laughs> video yeah she was told at the dr joe dispenza retreat during a mystical experience that she is a healer her hands are you know magical and powerful and she has a lot to offer and a lot of light and love within her to share with others and she kind of thought she wasn't as open to that idea because she kind of thought you know healers are those people walking around with crystal balls that are just <laughs> saying weird things to people, yeah. asking, yeah. you know, oh, can I put my hand on your <laughs> shoulder? Can I read your palm? Yeah. Which I'm totally into those things. Yeah. Like, I am down. But she... I'd be like, hold on. I don't know who you are or where you're getting any of this information from. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know, and I just had to draw my own conclusion about what that looks like. But I feel like within these six months, I am way more interested and open and observant observant of that than I was before. I'm actually open to how the form of it would be, what it would look like, where I can still be my truest self and show up and help someone and inspire them and heal them, you know, without feeling like I'm, you know, uh, sprinkling dust on something. You know, I don't know, but I can still be genuinely who I am. And that's the part that before would scare me that I would be like, oh, I have to wear a turban or I'd have to like wear like a, you know, a, this crystals all down my chakras or I don't know. It was just a picture in my head that was not truth and was scaring me from what reality was. So I feel better about it. I feel like I'm more on that path now. Those yeah. comments just amuse me so much. <laughs> because that, those are like the real things in my head. I'm like, yeah. is that what I'm going to look like? Is that what's going to happen? She thought she was going to have to dress the part. Exactly. And exactly. So the part in her head looked a certain way and it scared yeah. her. And I mean, that's why relationships as well. Like if it didn't look a certain way or come a certain way, I was like, oh no, mm -mm, I could see that coming a mile away. But you know, you never know. And you should be more open to every experience in life. And I feel like that's a lot of what I've been learning is to be open and to stop trying to manipulate or control situations and if things don't work out it's mainly because that just wasn't truly for you and something else better is for you i like that so <laughs> she's learning to trust yes. source creator the universe the yes. divine yes. and kind of letting that take over her life and flowing with that obviously source creator divine gives you what you're asking for anyways but in the right ways for you mm -hmm. and in divine timing so I think it's really great that you are learning to, you know, just have that trust and kind of release and let go of all the control because yeah. she was always like all over the place. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm going to go here and I'm going to make this happen. And this is how that's yeah. going to work. And then it wouldn't always work out the way she wanted it. And then she's just like, why, why, why? Yeah. But now it's way less work. She just yeah. does her meditations. She puts her intentions out there and then things just start coming to her. Yeah. You should tell them about yesterday how you said oh I need a financial advisor oh yeah my brother he is very much more disciplined than I am and we went to dinner one day he was like oh 
you do you have 401k you should look into a 401k and especially with my meditations i had become so much more open and emotional to things so when he was like oh where's your 401k you need your 401k to like live your life and you know when you get older and i immediately like started to kind of like tear up like i already have enough on my plate <laughs> like i'm trying to let go of things i'm trying to move forward and now you're telling me about 401k i don't know what that is him and i had a conversation just about the fact that you want to live an unconventional life and a lot a lot of people are gonna be so open to that and I was like okay that's true and so and as I continue to like meditate and do that you know it's something that people don't do like they have no idea they're like you look crazy or you seem crazy like okay go ahead and meditate but it just really in that conversation he let me know that you know you just have to understand that it's just a different way and so I went and I finally researched like my 401k and all that and I never even knew that I contributed to that and when I called them up they're like oh yeah by the way you have twelve thousand dollars in here and I was like oh okay it's like the queen of <laughs> money just waiting for me <laughs> yeah literally there's always some kind of money that she manifests or that she finds that she pulls yeah. out of yeah. literally her ass like, exactly out of thin air. and I'm just like oh thank you god again I didn't know what to do with it and I was like okay I have one but I don't have a current job that it will contribute to that so or my job would not contribute to that so I went and talked to a financial friend who was like starting a program that she was so invested in she just only gave me like little tidbits she told me to like take it and put it into this other opportunity and I was telling Salma and her dad we called another advisor and I was just like I just need someone to help me like you know sit in front of me and talk to me about the situation because I don't know same day uh, we're sitting there and people come over to her dad's house to just like visit and hang out and catch up and you know we're in the room we're like who are they what are they <laughs> who are these people what are we supposed to do we went out there and we started talking to the girl as we're talking you know just girl stuff about her traveling her finding bargains things like that and then next thing you know she goes into oh what do you guys do she goes oh I'm a financial advisor I said oh I said I need a financial advisor she's like well you found one and she's like well what do you do I said I'm a virtual assistant she goes, oh, I need a virtual assistant. It's like, well, look at that. I said, look at there. That is just an opportunity that I didn't, all I did was just say, this is what I would like. And I put it out there and I let it go. And literally just let it go. And I think a lot of people sometimes too, they wait so much and they're like, well, it didn't turn into anything. But that's not the point. The point is that you brought that into your just vibration. And you saying, oh, it didn't turn into anything just made it go from here to here. It's you, just kind of fun to see like what yeah. you're attracting when you need yeah. something. And and, and it just kind of comes, comes to you to like you. that. Yeah. It might not be like the one or the mm -hmm. thing, but mm -hmm. you're obviously drawing it into your field, into your reality versus maybe before things didn't happen as quick or these opportunities didn't come. But yeah. when you're doing the meditation and that she does blessing of the energy centers like five days a week, you're connecting to yeah. the field, to the divine, to source every single day, coming closer and closer to the vibration of love where you can manifest anything Thing and everything you want mm -hmm. instantly when you're just doing the meditation and then you're throughout the day you're like oh I need this or this would yeah. be nice things just start coming. coming to you out of thin air out of nowhere like, and don't doubt them don't be like well I don't know how I did that what am I gonna do with that just I am so grateful and thankful that you brought that to me thank you so much I'm gonna do my best to work that out and however it goes, it goes and whatever is for me is for me. You know, just like keep your energy high on that. You know, when you get a gift, you're not like, where you get that from? Why would you bring me a gift? What's in the box? What's gonna happen to me? Come on, I'm never gonna give you a gift again. <laughs> Be accepting of it. And I think, you know, just learning that and um, growing with that has been like my biggest thing. So my final question for Annalise is, what are you doing? What, what what are you doing with, this, with these <laughs> healing abilities, these powers? What's 
what's your next move? What's what's happening? How are you connecting with the people? Yes. So I'm beginning my own YouTube channel. It's going to be the business of abundance. Basically, again, how to accept those opportunities in your life and how to not only accept them, but what is accepting them look and feel like. Um, so that's what I would love to like engage in and just have more conversations like this with friends that are either, you know, like minded or not even the same minded because I feel like sometimes those are great conversations as well. Um, right now. Now I am also doing some other jobs, again, virtually assisting, that I never knew that it was exactly what I wanted to do. I can go and be wherever I want to be. I do some work and I'm laying on the beach. We had had like a Reiki um, bit course, right, that we did. And, and we had done some other courses with it. And I really didn't like the pace of those other courses. So I'm like, I don't feel like that Reiki is going to be legit, you know? And then I found this other girl or um, astrologer that I like. And she She's very like spicy and animated and all of that and just her vibe is really and her energy is really high and the other day she posted a picture that was kind of like Reiki changed my life in 2009 I was like oh that's interesting and then she never like said anything about it again and then just I think yesterday or the day before she was like oh you know um, I'm gonna start teaching Reiki because she is a Reiki master on those levels and I was like I would take her class you know that was like the first thought that came to my to my head is like I would take her class I would want to learn from her i think that's my next step is my reiki class with her and um we'll see how that goes and my youtube yes my youtube primarily because i feel like that is um i got a lot to say and that would be a great outlet to <laughs> That would be a great outlet to just speak my mind, talk to friends, and dive deeper on, on things that you probably wouldn't have general conversations about anyways. Well, I love that. I'm gonna link her YouTube below in the description. So if any of you guys love this little creature named Annalise and wanna <laughs> learn more about abundance, because she really is, she's so good at manifesting abundance. Like she manifested 20 grand at Joe Dispenza, 12, grand just now with a 401k she didn't even yeah. know she had so that's and like other small in things. six months yeah yeah even on this trip she came my dad lives in hawaii so she came to hawaii with me and she's been getting everything for free <laughs> literally <laughs> i mean yeah. i think you've spent like <laughs> no money yeah yeah like yeah. she my dad didn't end up wanting to go to his uh, massage and healing session and he's like annalise you and salma go you yeah. take you take my spot i'll pay for yeah. it and these so, are expensive services yeah 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 that was not it was not cheap we'll go to a friend's house that maybe is like a eyelash or, you yeah. know, hair removal technician. I'm like, Annalise, come here. Let me, let me, let me do it for you. I was like, yeah, sure. Do it for me. So just little, you know, little things that people expect, like they should come in certain ways, but it's just like, no, you have to be on that vibration of that. And I just feel every day I'm doing my best to get better and better at that and no longer thinking I know and just Whatever you want, I trust you. Yeah, You'll she even the right place. got invited to you know Morocco, where I'm from, for yeah. a month to stay at somebody's place for free. Yep, exactly. I mean, you, you just never know how abundance comes. Sometimes yes. it's cash, sometimes it's people are just like, here, come here, take this, I got you. Yes. You know? Yes. And, well, I really like this one. <laughs> On the new moon, I came across someone that I had kind of talked to like a while back, nothing happened, and then we reconnected and in our reconnection it really just made me like like I could just overall feel like and at least this is what it's supposed to feel like just be nice enjoy yourself be open and it li it literally felt like an opening of a new door for opportunities and relationships without me being so harsh and that was my favorite and I was just like I oh, this is so nice not to say that that's the person but you know I'm saying it was she just, just a, went to get her feathers ruffled you know stroke that ego so yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know it was nice but it just comes in so many different ways and you just kind of have to acknowledge every little bit every little quarter on the ground you know everything so yeah well uh that was our little catch-up time with annalise I hope you guys enjoyed and again I'll put her YouTube link um, in the description below. We love you guys. We'll see you guys next time. If you guys have any comments or any video suggestions that you want me or Annalise and I to make, please leave it down in the comments below. I love to hear your ideas. 
don't forget to like and subscribe as well to support my channel and Annalise's channel as well. We'll see you next time.